Hey, pay attention. Ugh. You're the one who says that you need the tutoring, and for what? For you to just stare out the window the whole time? Honestly, what a drag. You're lucky I like hanging out with you, or else this visit would have been a waste. Yeah, yeah, don't get that big of a head about it or anything. At least my dad's finally allowing me out of the house for things beyond school and... His stupid business exchanges. As long as it's for school. Anything for school. And anything's better than hanging out with Russell. Trust me. Anything is better than hanging out with Russell. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's been... It's been nice to... To see your house and all that. To hang out with you. To see how you hold down the fort, but I like it when things have a purpose. You know, when there's an order to them, and frankly, I can't figure out the purpose of this meeting. Especially considering that you seem to be struggling on purpose. I mean, you're having to deliberately not pay attention to get things wrong. I see you looking out the window when I put up the flashcards. What gives? You better have a good answer for me. I didn't trudge up here with 15 pounds worth of textbooks and my father's pride on my shoulders just to lollygag and see you get a C. You know I'm better than that. So you better have an answer. You... You knew what? You... You heard that I was being recommended for tutoring services, so you, 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 ugh. Don't you know that there are people who actually need these services, need my help? Why would you take up my time when there are so many other things I could be doing with it? Ah, right to hang out like, like friends would, like friends do, like friends might be able to, more under more normal circumstances. Do you think if we led any other life than our own, than the ones we live now, that I would have been here by now, after all this time we've shared, without the pretense of your academic failure or me losing the faith in my father as the only fragment he has left? Or would we even be able to know each other at all? Who's to say? Who's to say? You've been forcing a lot of introspection out of me as of late. What can I really say? <laughs> maybe... Maybe we should take a break. I mean, only to maintain a degree of academic excellence, of course. Even the most studious of scholars know when to relax. Some of the best innovations occurred when... Or we could just... relax. For... a while. I mean, I guess we are in your room. I mean, don't take my statement to be crude or crass or anything like that. Of course not. I, of course. I would never ask something like that of you or just, just about anyone in general. I just meant that. 
that if there was anything in particular you had in mind that you had the home front advantage. I'm not really in the position to to ask anything of you, especially after you so graciously let me into your room, your house, your life. Not that I would, of, of course not, but you know, is is there anything you want? I mean, of course not. Not that. You probably have, I mean, I have, I mean, higher standards. I, I get it. I totally, totally get it. And besides, we just had barely found out that we were friends to begin with. So... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need the break. You seem to do that to me, and I just can't figure out why. I mean, I hate to repeat it, I must sound like a broken record, but... Aren't I? I mean, haven't I been listening to that broken record every minute I wandered the halls of that house with its mirrors and its candles that stretch back and back and back? That remind me of the future that I face every minute I spend outside of those walls? I am my father's face to the outside world. At one time that was going to be Russell, and he would have been the perfect copy. Strong and firm like him in all the ways he's supposed to be. The ways I could never measure up as his softer counterpart, but here I am. Here I stand. His lesser expected to fill his shoes and wear his face and be everything that he was at one time that he can no longer be. That's who I ultimately am. That's who I'll have to be. Not the stupid, shy idiot who reads Russian novels when she should be out there building connections with people she hasn't kissed in closets, and yet... Here you also stand. Just... Waiting to tear me to pieces and ruin all that I'm supposed to be, but... It's not even malicious. I can't even get mad at you for it. If I was able to get mad at you for it, then maybe everything would be all right, but... You might be the kindest person I've ever had the pleasure to get to know. But it's also you. And I am also me as much as I am not. And I don't know what that could mean for either of us. If there even is an us. Or if I'm just a childish girl pretending there's something more for somebody like me. Don't. Don't ask me what something more could be. Because even I don't know. Maybe we both need a break. <sighs> But beyond that, I don't know what I need. I don't have to think about my needs when I'm at home, but when I'm with you, I am nothing but need. And I don't even know what it is that I do need to begin with. Please say we can go back to flashcards. Please, please, please say we can go back to flashcards. We're this close to identifying the purpose of the temporal lobe, and then if you can do that, you can handle everything else on the test just fine, and I can go home, and you can never consider the things I've said ever again. <laughs> I am giving you the option to walk away. I think everybody deserves to have that choice once in their lives. It's not like we all get it. I'm giving you the chance because... I'm overstepping my boundaries. If I can't even say I know we're friends, 
really friends. For as certain as I am with everybody and everything else in my life, I have no right to sell you with the burden of my... My... I am on your bed. I am laying down on your bed. It's soft and smells like lavender. Maybe clean detergent or something. Something. It's called grounding yourself, dumbass. I don't know if you can tell this by the everything about me, but I don't get to lie onto a lot of strangers' beds very often. Well, you're strange to me, aren't you? As strange as I must seem to you, it's as relative as it needs to be when you consider it under those terms. It's all as relative as it needs to be. What? N no, no, I'm... I'm okay. This is... Fine. I feel... Sorta of better. Sort of. Forgive me. The last thing I wanted was to do something like this or inconvenience you with the unnecessary feelings that make me the mess that I am. You just wanted to finish learning about the cerebellum and here I am fully demonstrating that my frontal lobe isn't finished developing and it's... It's inconvenient, to say the least. Well, it's inconvenient for me. It's only a matter of time until it's inconvenient for you, too. Just wait long enough, and you'll see. Always too much. Always never enough. It doesn't matter. It's all the same when you're bursting at the seams. I'm just... I can't wear my father's face right now. I guess I'll just have to settle for my own. What do you get out of dragging me onto your bed? Just curious. It can't be that amusing to listen to me decompress that you wanted to change surfaces. Least of all, do something vile and lewd at the thought of me crumbling to pieces. At least I think better of you than that. Maybe I should just appreciate somebody willing to lust over me at all. Not that I'd seem to flatter myself under circumstances like these, but it'd be nicer than how I live now, at least. I'm just saying, the siren song of flashcards is a herald I know all too well, and it's calling to both of us. Can't be any worse than what's happening right now. Um. Yeah. Yes. Y yes. Sure. Y you can. Um. You you could touch me if you wanted, but keep it clean. Keep it clean. I'm not about to soil a legacy worthy of five generations over a thing with the first friend I've ever had, and if you'd be so willing to do that, then maybe you just aren't a friend worth having to begin with, so- Ah. Hip. Hip? Is... Nice? Your hands are really warm, and has anybody ever told you that? It's- It's nice, and- and, and kind of buzzy? I mean, I feel buzzy and warm and my head is... Lean? Against you? Lean? Are you... Are you sure? 
Is that... Is it... Is this... Just a hug? But lying down? What would I... Th what would that do? What, what's your angle here? Why is... Oh. Huh. You're... Holding me. You're holding me. I am held and you are warm and you smell clean. So is, is that it? What am I supposed to do? Just, just feel held? Feel held? Feel... Is, is there anything I'm supposed to offer you? Is there anything you'd like? Teach me. Uh, help me... Help you! Let me help you please. I... Hate... The feeling of dead on my tongue. This isn't my father's voice, this is mine. Don't put this burden of compassion on me if you won't let me reciprocate it. It's... It's... Oh. This. This is how I'm reciprocating. Isn't it? If, if, as long as it's okay with you, then I suppose I'll handle it, handle myself better. It's nice. It's Nice. Do people... Do people really just... lie like this? For hours? I never ask you to pay for more time than you're getting tutored for, but... I suppose I can admit this is... <laughs> way better than flashcards. <laughs>